Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. You know that by now. Hello and welcome to the penultimate episode of our Outer Wilds playthrough here on YouTube. That means, if you're doing the math correctly, if you know your vocab, tomorrow is our final episode of the Outer Wilds DLC. I wanted to let you know about something really quick before we start so that you could be prepared. Uh, that video tomorrow will come out as normal, you know, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on the YouTube channel. However, if you wanted to see it a little bit early and you wanted to participate in our little release party that we're doing, we are going to go live probably around 1.30 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time on our Twitch channel, which you can find down below. And we'll start watching the episode an hour early at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're also, I'm out of breath, going to be nerding out with maybe looking at some Outer Wilds fan art, looking at some different stuff like that. If you've ever wanted a chance to watch this live with a bunch of other people chatting, now's your chance down at the Twitch link below. Enjoy the finale of the, uh, of the DLC right now. Enjoy. Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to our Outer Wilds blind playthrough here on YouTube. It is episode 55, and I will be honest with you. I am about to spend the rest of this episode, or as much time as it takes me, trying to figure out what's happening on the big picture in the Echoes of the Eye DLC. I figured we could start with... Uh, a lot of a lot of looking back on what we know because there's one thing stopping us from getting inside of the vault that they've sealed off the unknownians have sealed off uh, and I don't know for sure what's inside of I, I definitely don't know what's inside of the vault uh, I also frankly don't know what why they would be hiding what's in the vault but I'm thinking maybe a larger picture could help us out but here's the deal. That's what we're going to do. Uh, let's go to... You know what? Let's stay in this mode for now. Let's stay in this mode for now. So what's our... What? What's our big picture? Here, here's what I'm doing. I, I don't know how to solve this third... I don't know how to solve this third vault. In the last episode, we unlocked the second vault using the power of rendering. I don't know. Our artifact goes in one place. We go in another. We can see things that you couldn't see before. Uh, that leaves one lock on the vault. It's the three, the three echo um, thing. I don't know what to do with that, but uh, I would love to get a bigger, a greater handle on the, the overall situation, and maybe that'll take us there. <laughs> I hope so. Otherwise, we're going to be sitting here awkwardly on camera for thirty to thirty minutes to an hour. Um, so, what is this stranger? We. This is all going to sound like a, a, a real. A real history lesson, I guess. The stranger is the vessel that the Unknownians created to track down this Eye of the Universe signal that they were getting. They destroyed their home planet, their home moon, technically, in order to take off after it. They built this vessel. Uh, they followed signals. Um, they got there. Whatever they learned, whatever it is that they learned from... the eye of the universe it drove them crazy question mark it made them mad it it ruined their their it, it, it felt regrettable to them in some way shape or form and so they took a couple steps they shielded or cloaked they they built a vessel and sent it off of their bigger vessel um to the eye of the universe they cloaked it they eventually, if I'm remembering correctly, they eventually lost the uh, control of that of that thing. I don't know what area that would be. I think it's like... I don't know if it's in Hidden Gorge or, or where it is, but they lost control of that machine. Um, while they were aboard the vessel, they, or their, their, the stranger, they crafted a simulation in order i think in order to make sure that they could we're gonna go into space while we're doing this i guess in order because they missed their moon i think they they crafted a simulation because they missed their moon and remade parts of it there and they could sort of sleep and dream and visit it 
They could also, I believe, uh, die while they were dreaming and and get to stay as a simula stay inside of the simulation after death or whatever. Um, I don't exactly know about that. They also conducted some experiments on this whole how the simulation thing worked. Some experiments went okay, some went less okay. They blew a hole in the side of their ship. Um, yeah, that's okay. They are sort of fleeing from the uh, the supernova ing sun for sure as as the sun supernovas. Uh, what am I missing here? What am I missing on the overall picture? I have a list of questions, but my, my two main, my two only real questions left for this DLC are, at this point, are, what's in the vault? And frankly, here's the other thing. What could possibly be so terrible? After all of the stuff that we've learned about these Unknownians, what could possibly be that was it hidden inside of the vault? What could possibly be so terrible that it needs to be hidden inside of the vault? Because what we've learned about them is that they sort of unknowingly uh, caused the they caused so they they destroyed their homeworld in order to go there. Um, they sort by by cloaking the eye of the universe. I think they made the, my judgment would be that they sort of made a mistake or or their like parental desire to stop people from getting to see it actually sort of made the, the Nomai obsessed with it um, and sort of made them really want to go there. Um, so what could possibly be inside of this vault? I don't know. Also... What do we do in the meantime? I guess I probably should have before we before we go any further. I may actually go back on the ship and just reread through the ship's log. I don't want to wander around here. Is the short and long of it? They also burned down their shrines to the eye of the universe. They like, you know, they they fully like turned from the eye of the universe as a worthwhile pursuit. Yeah, I don't know. All right, let's try and soak up some information here. Uh, River Lowlands. This is the first section. Low-lying region near the entrance to the stranger. There's wooden buildings along the banks of the river. Several ornate metal artifacts inside a workshop surrounded by ghost mounted. They figured out these, these artifacts for sure. They burned some slides, but the hidden slide reel. They did keep a record of their history, though. I don't know if it was as a cautionary tale or what. Um... Okay, uh, the figure follows a procession of green lights through a forest to a candlelit building where they carry the container into a secret passage behind a roaring fireplace. That's the fireplace one. We know that one. Sure. Sure. Okay. Then we have Cinder Isles, where we have the tower. We have... Uh, the slide burning room, a hidden slide reel that uh, go down into the well. Sure, sure. Something's hidden inside of the well. Okay. We have the reservoir. Uh, an enormous reservoir with wooden piers and buildings on both shores. I found a room with a burned control interface and a projection that seems to indicate a broken connection between the stranger and another craft, which I believe is the craft that was supposed to cloak the, the eye. I found a projection showing the stranger's current trajectory and the sun's predicted supernova radius. So they were aware of the supernova and running away from it, is what we know about that. Um... Strange vault being encased in a large metal structure and lowered underwater. Sorry, I just want to make sure that I have these. Analyzing the eye of the universe and the origin of the... Okay. We have the submerged structure, a large metal structure suspended by chains. It can be entered by swimming from below. There's a sealed vault illuminated by a green fire inside of the structure. 
Uh, we have the subterranean lake, a vast subterranean lake beneath the submerged structure. The sealed vault is resting on the shore of the lake. There are three interfaces, each marked with one of three symbols from the vault. I rotated the mechanism in front of the vault, causing it to strain against the chains, holding it shut. And the green light that spilled out is the thing that showed us how to get the, the burned slide reels. So here's what I'm thinking. I think we got to work through this, right? If you can't get into the vault, sorry, into the submerged structure, a green light shows out. Let's think like an Outer Wilds develop here. here. The green light leads me into the, the, the tower secret room. The secret room inside of the tower leads me to the burned slide reel temple. And the burned slide reel temple leads me to the three burned slides. Sorry, the, the three secret slides that were not burned. So I think the three secret slides that are not burned have to be the three pieces of information that I need here. So we're going to go over those here in just a second. And make and find out which one is fucking about... About the third one. We have a sealed vault. I found a strange vault wrapped in chains marked with three glowing symbols. A slide reel from the River Lowlands showed a strange vault being closed and sealed with chains and a glowing symbol. Um... River Lowlands. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, We know all of those. Yeah, yeah, Okay, those are the, those are the slide reels we found really early on. Island Tower does have a symbol room. Secret room filled with wooden containers marked with different symbols. Three of the containers have glowing vault seals. Their contents have been burned away. I opened the container marked with the symbol of a burning slide reel. Found a vertical sequence of symbols inside. That takes me to the abandoned temple, which takes me to these three projections. I may just need to rewatch the one of those three that has to do with the three echoes and figure it out. Inside of the hidden gorge area, we have a slide burning room that shows a container marked with a glowing symbol being handed to a shadowy figure. The lights are extinguished behind a mural of a large tree. Okay, so this is the one inside of the lodge. We turn off all the lights in the lodge. We go through. When we go through... Sorry, I'm working through all of this in my head. What a deranged first 15 minutes to this episode. We go through. We walk across the hidden, the endless canyon, the hidden gorge. We go down an elevator and into a hidden archive. Yeah? I mean, that's technically in... Yeah, yeah, that's... We'll get to that in a second. Burn slide right reel here was a... Uh, Sure, sure. Um, the damage the laboratory, laboratory, I almost said. Dexter's laboratory. Um, I wonder if anything from this has anything to do. Different types of vision like recording of somebody picking up an artifact and going to sleep in front of a green fire. At the, at the worst case scenario, we could try this. Worst case scenario, we could try falling asleep in front of a fire with other sorts of materials, um, which definitely would kill me, but it's fine. In this canyon. All right, so in here, we made it through the mural of the large tree. We made it to the Forbidden Archive. Inside of this, there was a thing that was destroyed, and this is where we learned about the... So I doubt it's this Forbidden Archive. This is the Forbidden Archive where we learned about walking outside of the range of... The simulated reality outside of the artifact range of the artifact shrouded woodlands uh was the dense forest alongside the banks of a river music coming from a candlelit building across the water a covered bridge leading in the darkest part of the forest this is the one that is through the fire right uh yeah so in this forbidden archive we learned what piece of information the origin, this is where they burned down everything that they loved. Uh, they burned down, they, they basically just, they didn't burn. They destroyed their home in order to create the stranger. Found a slide reel that appears to be some sort of air report. It shows one of the stranger's inhabitants. 
Jumping off a raft during a transition between areas and following below the world. Cool. So we know that one. I think it's got to be this piece of information. I think this is the piece. Red thread cork board. All right. I think it's got to be this. Oh, my God. Intact slides reveal the construction and launch of a spacecraft designed to block the ice signal. I found a slide reel that shows two artifacts being lit near a green fire. The first artifact lights after its bearer falls asleep. The second artifact lights after its bearer dies. I found a slide reel that appears to be some sort of error report. It shows an alarm bell failing to wake. <gasps> Escape! Uh, Q! Q is the button! Q is the button! Fly the fucking ship! I'm already here! I know! Oh my god! Welcome to the end of the DLC, maybe. I have no idea. Oh my god! I have freaking goosebumps. Oh my god. I know what that means. Of course. I, I can't be woken from the freaking uh shit but i can't be woken by the alarm bell if i can't wake up i think i'm about to actually die in the in the in the in the world in order to make this happen oh my god i'm so relieved we got to the very last item on the stranger list and it had an answer for me if this doesn't work, I'm going to be truly heartbroken. It has to work, though. It makes it makes too much thematic, perfect, goddamn Outer Wilds, beautiful, poetic fucking sense to not work. I have to die on board the stranger in order to make it to where I want to go inside of the simulation. I'm going to lose my flipping mind. Okay, how do we make it happen? Uh, we've saved a ton of time. We spent the first 15 minutes rambling on a menu screen so we have loads of time i think we go to the third section um we want to just go off of the loading screen right okay so hold up yeah 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 yeah, yeah. it's easy we'll be done in like two seconds oh my god Let's go! I'm freaking out! Oh my god! I'm nervous! What's gonna happen? Oh man. I had faith in this game and it came through. I had faith. Oh. I was so nervous. I honestly sat here for like 10 minutes before recording this episode because I was so nervous that I was gonna get into this DLC into this episode i mean this episode recording and fall fucking flat on my face and i still might so i think that option is still here i was gonna i was gonna reread every single possible thing we know about the stranger i was gonna consult my list of questions about the unknownians and what they're doing here and what po what information could be in there and try to piece together everything that we know and not come up with any answers. I was so nervous that was gonna happen and I was gonna spend 50 minutes. And it would have been fine if we did, you know? I would have slept on it. I probably would have eventually figured out what the fuck to do. But. Oh, I'm getting chills just thinking about it right now. But. Uh, that's the wrong one. I decided, I literally, I, I sat there and I decided, and I, I was sitting there for 10 minutes and I thought to myself, you know what, Ryan? Outer Wilds has not done you dirty any time in the past. There's always been, if you look hard enough or you look thoroughly enough, or if you look with enough patience, there's always been a clue somewhere. And it's always, it's always made a, a beautiful poetic sense. And it's always, not only has it made sense, not only has it made sense once you figured it out, it's always been crystal fucking clear in, in hindsight. And it's crystal fucking clear in hindsight. That slide reel that shows that the one that the way to not be awoken by an alarm bell 
it shows that you have to die in front of the fire rather than dozing off in front of the fire. And I made comments about it. Oh, buddy. Light my fire. Come on, baby. Light my fire. Let's go. I'm freaking out. I think this means that if I die now, in if I pass out in the simulation, that will be the end of the uh, time loop. That's my guess. My guess is that everything that's happening right now is keeping my brain alive from a perspective of you know, like you might be sitting there th what, what i'm trying to say is like you might be sitting there thinking like why hasn't the time loop ended that's that's what i would think right why hasn't the time loop ended i think what's happening is that my brain activity is still is still going strong and so like my I, apparently my hearthian body is back there burned to a fucking crisp and toasted like the way i like to eat marshmallows uh but my brain's still going because of this dream world, the simulation. And the moment that ends, I'm guessing I will be dead to the to the time loop. I hope that I'm not dead forever. I hope so. I hope that isn't the end. I don't know how it would break the time loop. I, I'm guessing it won't. Ugh. All right. Let's fucking do it. I'm freaking out. Oh, I'm so nervous. What's it going to be? That's the question on my mind, right? What's so bad that they would seal it in this vault? And what's so large that it would need to be sealed inside of this vault? It's a large vault. What's... I think it's what's so bad. Like, I don't know if it makes any other sense any other way. Put you here. Pop over here. Oh, I timed that perfectly. Uh, I do need to take the lint artifact with me. Oh, man. <sighs> you know what else is on my mind, too? It's it's that it's that like. How do you pace? How do you pace a game this well? When the puzzles are as open ended as they are. Because it was just in the in like basically I think the last episode, the last recording, that to me I finally arrived at what I would call like a sort of sense of peace around the unknownians, uh and the like more horror elements of this game. Of this DLC, sorry. Uh I got to the point where I was like I I I started off and I was just like, oh, it's terrifying. It makes them seem so scary and so mean and so... And I think that, like, our full picture of the Unknownians... I'm going to walk through this door in just a second, but I'm going to pause right now to give myself time. My picture of the Unknownians is now so round. You know? It's not, it's not a flat image of the characters of the Unknownians, but it's round now. Because, because of the fact that, you know, because of everything, right? Because, like, oh, man, it would be, <laughs> how do I phrase this? I have to, I have to phrase this before I move on because it's so important to me. With the Nomai, you have this upstanding race, this upstanding, be these upstanding beings who had a had like a sort of noble quest and sort of failed uh but mostly failed to find the eye of the universe uh but failed in such 
such kind like such a such a a redeeming way right they failed but not because they didn't not because they did the science wrong not because you know they they tried so hard and they and they tried to be ethical along the way and they et cetera et cetera et cetera and then the interloper came and the random the random factor of the interloper killed them all and so you have that like sort of tragic heroic story and you have a different tragic heroism i think with the unknownians which is that they found the fucking piece of knowledge that the nomai wanted to reach and they made mistakes along the way to get it and then they had to live with themselves afterwards and i cannot wait to find out what a troubled people like that hid inside of this vault in some ways the unknownians are the more relatable i think if you're a human in 2022 living in this fucked up world that we live in where despite every despite every best effort by so many humans for so long this is the this is what we've made beautiful and bad this is what we've made we've got a sort of fucked up history what's in our vault i don't know let's find out I can't hear the alarms. <sighs> no other game would have such an epic... silent... climax. Do I drop the artifact? Oh. The like, the sound. The like, buffeting. Oh, it's creepy. The telescope. I can't tell where I am. I can't tell what I'm looking at. But I appear to be in a tower. And I appear to be looking at the the world. If I had to Oh no, okay. Alright, that's an elevator. I thought I would let me look through the thing. Artifact. The lit, a lit flame. Broken antler! I just fucking realized! Talk to the prisoner. Are you shitting me? You were imprisoned in here? Ellipses. Who are you? Ellipses. 
You gonna show me? Oh my. Yeah, talk to me, baby. Let me read. Read? You're gonna do the eye thing? Give me your memory? Yes. I love the conversations. Who are you? A prisoner, why are you imprisoned? You woke up. You uncloaked the eye. Shit. Oh, the wavering edges of the outside of this make it feel more real than any slide reel that we've seen so far. And then they put it back? Vision torch? Oh my god. They all died. Over the time. Things withered. Oh, I didn't even... Oh, wow. So gorgeous, the drawings. The escape pods. One to uh That's the interloper. Ah, uh, the ghost matter. recognize that ship that type of ship anyways god this music if I am correct it's remixed the main theme right I grow up oh Where are you going?
Is it my turn? Oh man, I don't... I thought I was gonna get to get to ask them one another question. I may still. I'm gonna keep going so that I don't know if we'll run out of time here. <sighs> Those drawings were so beautiful. It was rendered so gorgeously. So is it the uh is it the prisoner's body inside of the I don't know if that even makes sense. You went out. So we gotta go. Oh man, I'm still reeling a little bit from all of that information. Okay. The prisoner let out. The piece of information that uh, let out the signal of the eye for two seconds that the Nomai caught. Okay, but hold up. I don't know exactly what you mean by that. Is there no chance they went back up? I don't know exactly what you mean by that. Did I just fall? Oops. I don't see him over there, right? There's no way they went up, right? Um. Is it saying we get on the raft and we flow away together? We all float on all right already? What's that mean? I can't tell. And I also don't see them right now. So I'm wondering if they... I think I, I shouldn't go up there. I should just follow. I should just follow the thing. What do they mean? It looks like we sailed off into the sunset together. <laughs> and also, how do I wrap my head around this in a time loop? We're in a time loop. So, I can come back and do this all again next time? Oh, should I have grabbed the vision torch? No? I don't know what I'm doing here. I think that... I think... I don't think I get to follow. I think that was the end of that. The hooves. Into the water. Not into the boat. Into the water. Oh... The prisoner just full on said goodbye. Okay. I understand. Okay. Oh man. I'm emotionally exhausted in the best way. So now we know. I understand the full, the full picture, I think. I'm sad that I didn't get to ask the question, where are we? But I think what would have happened if I'd have asked it is I would have gotten the same answer. I don't know that for a fact, but I think that, I don't think that the prisoner understood my question. I think that they just shared what they could. So what happened here was, On the stranger. Nope. Can I do this math in my head? Okay. Hold up. On the stranger. The prisoner. Takes. While everyone is dreaming of, of their homeland. Takes things into their own hands. And releases the signal of the eye. Which signifies 
it's that little bit of doubt in my head, right? That maybe what's at the eye is not actually all that bad. Not all actually completely bad. And sorry, I realized I needed to pause if I wanted to take my time here, which I don't know that I do, but. So they release the signal of the eye. The other Unknownians view this as betraying them. And they put the prisoner inside of a like metal, co uh, a wooden like coffin like thing. They submerge it in a vessel. This is the part that confuses me. They submerge it inside of this vessel. And then inside of the dream, somehow they take the prisoner's body. I think what they almost did was like trapped the prisoner's mind inside of that room because they can't trap their actual physical body, right? Yeah, yeah, they trapped the, phys the, the mind inside of that room. Wild. What was so terrible that was behind the vault? The answer is sort of like fucking nothing terrible. The answer was the prisoner who I love. Who I fully love. The only Unknownian also that I've ever truly gotten to know. Oh my god, I'm so happy I saw this part. I'm dead at the end of this time loop. Or I'm dead if I walk into this water and put out this flame. And so I think I'll sit here. Um, and just... And just think and react and talk for you if that's cool I'm, I'm definitely still actively processing i loved those drawings they were they were the renderings were so beautiful baby me baby harthian was so precious looking and the moment of putting oh it's so brave and it confirmed everything i'm so happy we found the ghost matter thing before we found you know, the end of this. I believe that's probably the end of the uh, Echo of the Eye DLC. I have the I have Echoes of the Eye DLC. If I had to guess, maybe not. But I'm gonna check the ship log here in a second. And. Should I have? No, I can't wake up from, I can't wake up from that. So I can't, I can't check what the vault looks like on the outside. Right? Hold up. Now my brain hurts. Okay. Oh man, this game too smart for me. Okay. We're going to use part of this loop. I mean... We're not going to do the... <laughs> We're only going to do DLC stuff for the rest of this episode. We're not going to do anything else, but... Um... Sealed Vault. That is, I believe, the last question mark on the whole fucking game. I met one of the stranger's inhabitants who was imprisoned within the vault. The prisoner showed me a vision, revealing the actions they took that resulted in their eternal confinement. So what happens is they put him inside of the vault and then they lowered it and there was a fire there. And so when the prisoner died, they stayed. Bless me. Okay, so that makes sense. Either they killed the prisoner right there and they died forever and then, and then never got to technically leave the 
the uh, simulation or they died of old age or whatever and then they eventually um, they did, and they and their their flame was lit and they didn't get to leave the the thing it makes sense so what you have in the overworld is their body what you have in the in the what you have in the rim the stranger is the body and what you have in this simulation is that that space built for them okay I use the vision torch to share my knowledge of the solar system's history with the prisoner, which is so beautiful. The last thing that the prisoner does is uh, sorry. The last thing that the prisoner does is learn of the full spectrum of, of events that happened because of the prisoner's actions. The good, the bad, the otherwise. And then get to walk into the water and be done. After forever. Because they couldn't, because they couldn't walk in, they couldn't put the flame out inside of the thing. They could not put the flame out inside of the, uh, the, I think the insinuation is that inside of the eternal confinement, inside of the in, room that they were locked in, their punishment was to exist forever. And when I let them out, they got to walk into the water. I didn't process any of that the first time. I was sitting there looking at the, the bow. I was like, where's the prisoner and I going to go? I don't know. There's got to be some other mystery here. God damn it. <laughs> That's crazy. I love it. I... <sighs> Sorry, I'm sitting here in silence, but I'm like wrecked emotionally. I don't know what to, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Uh, that I haven't said already, but the story of the of my my belief is that we're done with the DLC right now, um, and I'll go off and I'll think about that. But my strong guess and my assumption is that we're and, and maybe I'll come up with something else that we need to do. But my strong assumption is that we're done with the DLC right now, and that tomorrow we will go about figuring out how to escape on the vessel. And what I feel about most, what I feel mostly about the DLC is, uh, is, is what I was saying right before I walked across the final bridge, which is that like, I don't know if the Echo of the Eyes DLC is a more or less accurate, like, uh, I don't, that's not the right word. Like, I think probably most people look at the DLC and they think, and, and they say that, like, that's a less hopeful, the, the main game is not a hopeful, optimistic outlook, right? But it's, I would say it's a pretty optimistic outlook on the nature of sentient beings and the ways that we treat each other and I in that way the DLC is very different I think the DLC is about uh, I think it's still really beautiful and full of love but I think it's about the like more I'm so rambly at this point but I think it's I think it's about the like the sort of things we we can do that we maybe regret or that we feel shame over or that we try to hide or whatever like not on an individual level but on a, a community level and i just i just what i'm trying to say here is that i got i've at the end of the dlc and not one fucking moment before it in the last 10 minutes of the dlc this is locked firmly into place for me the two halves of the DLC in the main game in that way complement each other perfectly. 
uh it's it's the more it's the mo it's the well-rounded version of the full story of the of the main game i think that that's the end of the dlc i don't imagine that there's any way that i can go back and see the sealed vault the submerged structure from the stranger i think the only way to get in there is for me to kill myself at the fire and so i don't think that there's anything left for me to see on the dlc i'll take tonight to think about that but i believe that that is uh the end of our dlc playthrough i surely hope i i truly hope that you've enjoyed it uh if this is the last episode then you'll know it or the penultimate episode because you'll know it because I'm, I'm gonna record some other stuff and include it but i just have nothing but gratitude thank you for watching this episode has been 50 minutes long so far thank you for watching 40 minutes of me sitting in a blank screen trying to put my thoughts together in, a, in a, some sort of sensical line in a way that hopefully reflects or 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 speaks to your experience with this truly incredible piece of art we are not quite done yet tomorrow i think we may be uh for accuracy's sake i have to go jump off of something high now so that we have an accurate count of our deaths but i appreciate you very much thank you for watching and i will see you tomorrow for what i believe at this point anyways will be the last episode of Outer Wilds. Until then. That didn't do it. Fuck. The townspeople are like, this newbie, he's really nervous on his launch day. Ain't he? That new, that new kid, he must be really nervous to launch today, isn't he? His launch day is today. Oh, it's his first time in space. Oh, man. What a game. What a game. What a fucking game. What an absolute fucking game. I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, much love from me to you. Bye-bye.